so I'm thinking that um, we need to appreciate the things that we have in life and be grateful for the things that we have in life. Even the simple things that might not hurt you very much, but um, your ability to see and speak and feel heat and cold, your ability to remember stuff, your ability to walk. It's all, when you, th when you stop to think about it, it's all absolutely amazing that we can do these things. Now, I've had an injury which has affected my body physically, so I'm partially disabled, and I've lost my memory as part of the injury. I mean, almost completely lost my memory. Um, some, some, like, contents pages are still there, but the details are missing. So um, I don't understand what my life is, really, and it's a very strange existence. And I'm feeling sorry for myself, obviously, but I'm also realising that as bad as the situation is, it can be an awful lot worse. And then that got me thinking about what other people have to go through um, every day that never crossed my mind before. So people that have lost their legs, for example, you know, had that been disabled so they can't walk and they're living in a wheelchair. And they have to live like that every day. They can't get up and go to the loo. They can't exercise. They can't go to work. They can't do the normal things that we do every day without thinking about. But these people have to exist like that every day. And they have to find a way to manage it. And many people do. I don't know how many people, but... I imagine it's hundreds or even thousands of people have to manage being disabled, fully disabled. And I, I can't imagine how they manage it. It's just um, amazing. But it happens. And not only that, there are people that have had arms or legs amputated. There are people who have a terminal illness. There, there are people who are blind or deaf. And I've never stopped to think and imagine these things before. But to be deaf or, or blind, even just closing my eyes for a few seconds, is something that makes me aware of how awful that situation is. And yet, there are many, many people that are enduring this and have found a way to manage it somehow. But um, it, it feels to me like I would go crazy if I was in that situation. So I know that as sorry as I feel for myself and as annoyed as I am and frustrated, I do realise it could be an awful lot worse. And I'm so grateful for the things that I have. So this is just to say, try and appreciate the things that you have in life rather than just thinking about the things you don't have. The things that you have that work, that you can walk, you can talk, you can remember, you can eat properly. Um, all of those things, or you can drive maybe, um, you can feed yourself, you can go to the toilet by yourself, you can exercise. These t small things that seem inconsequential are actually incredibly important and valuable in your life. And taking time to appreciate it might make you feel better about things that you don't have or that things that aren't going well. Um, life is awesomely complicated but you have to take from it what you can and try and make it as good as you can um, and don't be so frustrated all the time as I'm finding myself being try not to be too frustrated all the time about things you don't have or the things that aren't going so well 
and try and take some time to appreciate the things you do have and the things that are going well because things can always be worse. I think there's an expression that says that, something along those lines, that things should always be a lot worse. So make sure you understand the things that you have and uh, and can be grateful um, for that. And when I say grateful, I don't mean grateful to a higher being necessarily. I just mean to see the situation as it is and understand and value what you have.